Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and for this video we're going to be looking at the new Manon Stronghold decoration pack. My previous video was about the Manon Stronghold itself doing a little bit of a tour and first impressions that kind of a thing but for this video I just want to make it kind of a small video just regarding the decoration pack because um, obviously the Manon Stronghold has released there's a lot of buzz about it a lot of people are excited to start decorating it and checking out and being basically being creative and stuff and we do have a new decoration pack here and I just realized I have no cartel coins okay one sec, give me one sec. All right guys, so I'm back here and um, I have more cartel coins now I can actually get the pack. It's up for 1,500 cartel coins. And that's very, very expensive considering the IOCAF decoration pack that came out during the IOCAF patch only cost 800. So it's almost double the price. And I was looking at some of the decorations. As you guys can see, there's a huge list here. Now there are quite a few decorations, but when I was looking at their images online, I was not impressed at all. Honestly, uh, there were only like one or two decorations I would even consider uh, wanting the other stuff is not worth 1500 cartel coins at all but it's worth taking a first look checking out each of them individually and seeing how they look in the Manon stronghold and everything if you're wondering what theme is playing in the background in my stronghold tour video I had the Manon theme playing from Kotar uh, the original games and this time I have like the Dantooine Jedi Academy theme playing just because now I'm kind of into those soundtracks they're really nice and especially with the release of the new strongholds and stuff I thought I'd get a proper theme going but looking at the Manon floor lamp here, okay, so it's just kind of a basic decoration. That's cool and all. Definitely works really well with the whole Manon colors. My only major question is why did they only give us one? I mean, with every stronghold you need symmetry and I don't understand the logic of only giving us one. It's a really basic decoration. It could have given us at least two for a minimum and then if not four. I mean, what do you expect people like to do like waste now credits on the GTN after having paid 1500 cartel coins. Not a big deal for me considering I have enough credits, but just for the average person that actually shelled out money for it, uh, I don't understand their logic there. They, they should have definitely given like a, if two as a minimum, if not four of these floor lamps. But anyways, uh, really cool search function here. I'm really enjoying that quality of life improvement though. It's so much easier to search for decorations. Here we're looking at the Selkath Officer Patient. I'm not sure what that name implies. Um, I don't, I, don't, I don't know if he's a patient or something, uh, but anyways, basically what it is is it's a Selkath in that armor set. Now, that armor set is from the Stalwart Leader Pack. It was the silver one uh, that was supposed to kind of look like the Havoc Squad armor set. Not a reskin, but just kind of going off that theme. It is actually a very nice personnel decoration. Uh, I really just like the armor set. It looks really cool. And then obviously it being Selkath themed is really nice. Uh, awesome for guilds though, honestly, because with guilds you can donate like numerous amounts of these decorations once you own one of them for only like 25,000 credits. So it's very easy to like get a lot of them, Cause but just having one once again is pretty hard to decorate. I mean, what are you really going to do with one? Usually you need like a few to get uh, a certain scene or something going. The next one we have here is this lounge. Um, this one is gold, so I'm assuming it's supposed to be really nice, but it does, um, it is centerpiece, so I guess it's going to be pretty big the Manon lounge set there we go so basically with these sets types of stuff it's not so much its own decoration it's just kind of a mushing together of various decorations so here we have the Manon floor lamps once again we have a couch in the middle and then some chairs and a table as I was saying I wasn't too impressed when I saw the images online it looks very basic uh, once again it works so well with the colors though which is which is the only appeal of it like it works really well for Manon but um, it, I, don't, I don't see this going well on other strongholds, nor do I see it really being worth gold. I mean, come on, that, that screams silver at me. And making people pay so many cartel coins for it doesn't make very much sense. I would definitely suggest for anyone interested in decorating their strongholds, and if they like these decorations, wait to see what price it goes to on the GTN. It might just be affordable enough on the GTN that you won't waste too many cartel coins on it. Um, that is definitely one of the nicer decorations though from this pack, which I think speaks to uh, the quality of items from this pack. Alright. So go moving on, this one fits on a floor large. Um, this one is the, okay, what am I doing wrong here? There we go. This is the Minan office set. So once again, just kind of a mushing together of decorations. You have the chair that we saw earlier and then you just have um, basically an office desk. Now this looks something not so much Manan, but out of maybe a, a Churka uh, flashpoint or Zerka, or however you pronounce that. Um, but it, I like it. I like the whole flashing stuff on the screen. Uh, definitely not something I've seen before. There might be a decoration similar to it, but I haven't really seen any before. But um, okay, that's the wrong emote. I'll just try to sit down here to give you guys a good feel of what it probably looks like. Yeah. The, the chair is really angled pretty weird though. 
um, but whatever. That's just some small stuff, no one really cares. Overall, it's, it's, it's an average looking decoration though. They love to slap that gold uh, like price tag on it, like, oh, this is a gold decoration. It's like, really, what makes it gold? I'm just wondering. Um, okay, moving on, we have another personnel here. Um, the last one is really nice, so I hope this one holds up as well. Okay, this guy's not a soldier though, so we'll have to change that to just all, there we go. So a lost Selkath citizen. So basically just kind of a, a guy that just keeps looking around. Once again, it's Selkath, so it's all cool, right? Works well for Manon, but on the other hand, it's like, I don't know, what's the appeal? It's just a, uh, yeah. Well, at least they had the, you know, sense to make it a bronze decoration. I care a lot about rarities. A lot of people probably don't care, but I care because it goes to show, like, I don't know, the way Bioware values their own items. Um, here we go. Finally, they give us four fla Manon flag, um, standing flag, or hanging flags. So that makes more sense, right? Like, we have so many of these hooks here. We have to fill them up somehow. So it makes sense that they would give us more of those. Um, yeah. That looks nice. All in all, like you need to fill up these pillars somehow, so it, that definitely looks very nice. So, GG Bioware. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then you can just kind of put those all the way around. Still, four doesn't seem like enough. I mean, you have like what, a, like already ten of those that I see. So, you probably need ten flags. Uh, but also, there's a lot of other flags that came out of different packs that you can just slap on here. Uh, we'll move on to. Um, the patio set. If I sound really unimpressed, uh, I, I, I am unimpressed. Uh, I was definitely expecting more. The Owlcath decorations that came out of the Owlcath pack were definitely really nice. And here, look at this, the Manon patio set. So this is basically just like one quarter of that lounge set we saw earlier. I mean, they just took out the couch, took out the lamps, took out one set of chairs and table and just left us with one set. I mean, come on, that, that, that screams zero effort. Uh, like this, like they, they, like you know what? They should have been worth like twenty cartel coins. Like you have decorations on the cartel market right now worth like twenty. And look at these random companions just appearing out of nowhere. Although this is a glitch they've acknowledged and stuff, but this is a glitch that's been happening for so long. You just log into a stronghold and naked companions suddenly appear. Uh, and look, like you can't get rid of them. You can put a decoration in front of them, on top of them, remove it. They won't go away. So it's kind of really stupid. Uh, whatever. As I was saying. Um, basically, you know, they, uh, the Iocad decorations were nice, they cost less, and then this one they gave us more decorations, but they're kind of playing on the whole hype of the Manon and thinking people would just go buy it anyway. So I'm making this video to let you guys know, don't buy it, it's so not worth it. You can probably get these decorations for decent prices on the GTN in a few days. Do not waste your money. Anyways, we'll keep checking out uh, some of these other items here. I can spell this right. The Explorer Supply Set. Here we go. Once again, a perfect example of just how much of a failure Byra can be sometimes. I mean, like, they made this a gold decoration. I'm just wondering what part of this is gold? You put three crates together, you put some green lights on it, and you, you slap together a gold decoration and said, pay 1500 cartel coins. Makes absolutely no sense why that is gold, why that even is a decoration. I, I don't know. I'm just at a loss of words here. Like, come on. With the like once again with the Iocath one, which is really the only other decoration you can compare it to. Like you had Technolis, you had things moving around, you had some really cool stuff, and this is just some basic plain decoration that they're putting here. Um, and as I was saying, like you know, they should have made these individual Manon stuff because they're really nice. Put them up for like 20 cartel coins. You have other decorations go that go up on the cartel market for like 50 cartel coins, so why wouldn't you make these? But instead they bundled them all together in a pack, slapped a really hefty price tag on it, half of it's crap, and very very few of them are actually nice. Here's a nice one though. The Fountain of Tranquility. If there's any reason to buy this pack, it's for this decoration. Definitely extremely nice, works very very well with Manan, would also work very well on Coruscant or on um, Nar Shada, and it's just overall a really nice decoration. Uh, if you slap together this fountain along with like the Statue of Eternal Grace and the Zakulian fountain and the Zakulian fountain, like that would make for a really nice arrangement, especially in a huge entrance like this. We have so many opportunities to put centerpieces and stuff, so that is definitely a winner there, and probably gonna sell for extreme prices on the GTN. So, all right. 
at least some good came out of this, but um, another thing they probably could have done rather than sell this as an individual pack is put these decorations, here we go, another na random naked companion. This time Theron, I guess, wants to show off his abs or something. Uh, anyways, they could have put him in a recent cartel pack, right? So the newest cartel pack coming out, just throw in a bunch of Manon themed decorations. Makes sense to me because you just released the Manon Stronghold and a lot of people will probably actually be more incentivized to buy the pack. And I get it's, I, it's RNG, but I mean like, these are mostly these are silver and bronze decorations. You get them very easily from cartel packs. So, um, yeah. And then of course the, the upside would be if they release it in a cartel pack, uh, it would go for actually cheap prices on the GTN. Here we'll check out some of these aquariums now. Um, these are cool, but they're easily my least favorite. I'll tell you why. They are just the perfect example of how Bioware does like half a job. You create a nice aquarium, it looks really cool. Why aren't the fish moving? It looks so weird. The fish look like they're really unhappy on their face and they're just kind of like standing still. It looks really fake and I just don't get it. Like, why aren't they moving? Why aren't they doing something cool? I don't know. It just looks really weird. Um, would probably work very nice in like an experiment room or something, but uh, I actually have quite a few of those in my Drum and Cost Stronghold. I think I showed it off in a video earlier, but um, yeah, that, that just looked really weird. And here I bet the uh, aquarium that I'll show you guys next is going to look really weird, weird as well because they didn't do anything cool with it. Here we have the large aquarium, once again, slapped a gold uh, uh, icon on it to make it seem more better than it probably is. Um, there we go, large aquarium. Uh, right off the bat, it's really small and cloudy. Can't really see anything in there. But maybe if I, yeah, here we go. It's clearer on this end. And there we go, you have the stationary fish. The weird, really weird stationary fish. I don't understand that at all. Like, it just kind of creeps me out when I see it. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. GG, Bioware. Thanks for the half job. Like, ugh, just so, doesn't make any sense to me. How hard is it to make a moving fish? You have so many other dynamic decorations where people are moving. So I don't get that. Okay, whatever. We'll move on rather than dwelling on that. Um, <clears throat> I probably should put a disclaimer at the start of this video that if you don't want to dampen on your day, don't watch this video because it's kind of depressing seeing uh, some of this stuff. All right, moving on, we'll, we'll go to the next of the Naked Companions and we'll check out this other guy. Now this one is the Cyborg one. Um, so we'll see if this one's any better. Surly. I think, that, I don't know, is that from the Man depths of Manon Flashpoint? I don't know, I think so. There we go. That's something cool. Yeah, that's, that's what I love to see. You have, like, at least he's doing something. He's doing this punching stuff. So you could probably, like, you know, set two of them together, pretend like they're having a boxing match or something. You can do, you can do something cool with it. You can, um, uh, you can make him, like, I don't know, pretend like he's a torturer or something, trying to get something out of, uh, out of, uh, a prisoner or something like that. I don't know. You could be creative with it. That's the cool thing. We're just dynamic or with just stationary uh personnel it's kind of hard to be creative with it but with these types of things that's cool i also do believe they advertise that uh in the picture of the um of the stronghold pack which is kind of what i was looking forward to i'm like oh what's that cool looking guy so that that's cool there we go we have three decorations that are nice out of this pack we have the fountain we have that uh, cyborg i just showed you and i don't even remember what the third one is maybe there's only two good th stuff out of this pack uh now this is the news kiosk most wanted so we have those two guys reappear again in case you're wondering who they are i don't know there was another decoration release called the bounty monitor and you could click on it was a clickable decoration and it showed different bounties popping up and these are the two bounties that kept popping up so i don't know they seem to be some really notorious villains or something with large bounties on their head but i would once again i would thought it'd been cooler if maybe you put this throw up an image of jango fett or something like make a homage to the trilogy and it would be a kind of a cool nostalgic type of thing to do but instead they put like this random pure blood sith and a random Togruta. i mean you don't obviously have to say jango fat but just putting up an image of a mandalorian that resembles him would kind of be a cool thing but whatever i'm uh, overall this decoration is nice yeah it is nice decoration i kind of like those uh, stuff on the side as well so that was cool all right so three decorations that kiosk was nice that cyborg is nice and the fountain is nice but other than that is this worth 1500 cartel coins not by a long shot i hated the fact that those fish weren't swimming i hate how simple those, some of those other decorations are and i don't like the fact that they slapped such, such an expensive price tag on it and are trying to trick players into buying it because of the hype 
Uh, there's a lot of other images that were data mined, some really nice decorations, more fountains and stuff, but none of that has really showed up. Uh, they kind of stuffed together a lot of just other uh, decorations in this cartel pack. So all in all, guys, not worth buying it. Um, some of the decorations are nice. The nice ones you can purchase off the GTN. It might cost you quite a few credits, but at least you won't have wasted your money paying cartel coins for this. Anyways, this video is way longer than what I expected or thought it would be. This is supposed to be like a five minute video. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed hearing me rant. Of course, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Some people think my videos are a little bit too opinionated. Well, feel free to disagree in the comment section. I'm not gonna, you know, say anything if you disagree with my opinions or whatever. Definitely let me know what you guys think about it, whether there's a decoration that stuck out to you, whether you like some of the decorations. If you do, obviously, feel free to let me know and I will uh, read and respond. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.